Well, I hope you're having a fun uh, lockdown. I'm losing my fucking mind. And uh, I was finally able to go out and buy some shit. So the first video, we're going to do bullards. Or bollards. The, those fucking concrete pillars are like, sometimes they're the steel tubes and they're burying them into the ground. And they stop uh, assholes from driving into your business or off the road. And these are pretty much just PVC ends for a PVC pipe. It's like that. They call them like end caps. And I pretty much just messed them up with a Dremel. You could drill holes in them for bullets, you know, bullet damage and just scrape them up, make them look kind of old or like they've been used. And then just on the texture of the uh, base like normal. You know, nothing new, nothing really fancy. They're just there to stop people that have vehicles from going through. They're, they're impossible train for vehicles, pretty much. You know, that that's what they're there for. They won't stop people, but they'll stop like a tank. Or maybe not a tank, maybe something like a, uh, just a car or a truck. They're, they're mostly meant to stop stuff on uh, the civilian side. I do plan on making a video for like dragon's teeth and here I'm just putting glue down spread it out a little bit and uh, you know if you want to texture it anymore you know you could add rubble or not it's up to you this is just the bare bones basic to show you how to you know cheap easy terrain I think I think they cost like maybe 63 cents a piece so you you do all this for under like five dollars put that plate down so you don't make a fucking mess it, it looks decent it doesn't look great but it looks decent but i'll probably make a uh a video with like the smaller bullards like the the probably the ones you've probably really seen like in front of stores and stuff that like the smaller steel pipes maybe paint them like yellow or some color and they'll be like tighter together rather than spaced out like this and for the the floor I pretty much just used one gray for the rocks I used a lighter gray and for the actual pillars themselves I used the just a different maybe a little bit more white and gray because I wanted them all to stand out from each other because they, they wouldn't all look the same color. Being that the, the bullards would probably be the newest thing made. Now I'm just yeah, doing a, another dry brush. Always do your dry brushing. Remember, just start dark. Go to lights. Simple shit. And if you want to add washes or anything like that later, you can. I'm going to put a wash on the actual pillars themselves and then the, the actual gravel that's on the floor. But that's that's pretty much the only thing that I do a wash on. And this, is, this gray is a lot lighter. And I pretty much dry brush it on, but I do like four or five coats. That way it covers everything. It's just easier to do a lighter coat, and plus, if you do lighter coats, you'll see more of the uh, the detail from the damage and the wear and tear and stuff like that. So just do on the PVC, just do real light coats. Start with that. And then there, I'm doing a wash on the gravel. I also do wash on the pillars, but first I actually go to the damaged spots, and I, I wash those in first. And then I wash over the whole thing. And that way your actual damaged spots look a lot darker. And they stand out a little bit more. They look a lot nicer after the wash. Um, like they actually have gone through some shit. Like everything in 40k. It's all blown to hell and dirty. A little bit of a zoom up. And I just used like a Dremel to, to do all the damage. Really easy. You know... This whole thing probably costs under five dollars, and you can, you know, you can make a shit ton of these if you wanted to for a, a big, like, city table. I'm gonna try to do like a dragon's teeth next 
for another like barrier video hopefully soon all right bye